of the best ways to have a meeting time with the Father? Have a chair if you can. Now, I don't have a chair where I do this. But I've seen people that he worked for and I advise people to do it. You can have a particular chair. That when you want to speak to God, you can sit down and keep the chair. Then while you sit, you face the chair and you talk. Empty everything. Don't make your prayer too religious. Shaba, 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 shaba. Come, Lord, I need us to talk. I, I know I'm supposed to say thank you, but now see, my heart is very heavy. Forgive me. Let's talk, Father. You see, on my way now, coming back, you know, or maybe mistakenly you now say, God is my witness. Oh, sorry, I know you are here. Um, you know that I am not at fault. This young man just came, hit my veil. You are there. You saw it. And when I tried to raise voice, because he has money, he oppressed me. You were there. Now I have bills to pay. I don't know how to pay that bills. You have searched my spirit and you know there is no way I can get that money to pay this bill. You know there is nobody. I don't want to start calling my uncles for help, except you are leading me to call them. I'm troubled in my heart. As it is now, I don't even know how to pray to you. I don't even know. I feel weak to communicate to you now. This was not who I used to be, Father. I'm finding myself. I'm lost. Please, first of all, help me for my prayer and help me with these issues. Battles everywhere. I know you will speak to me now as I'm speaking. And I know I might not be able to understand what you are saying. Because I know I have not trained myself to hear you. But I know you are a being that is intelligent and you can speak to me in a way I will understand. You see, I'm helpless. I have come to the end of my journey here. Now I am about to sleep. Please, speak to me. What you did is called prayer. No tongue in, but that is prayer. Pure prayer. That is an, what they call an outpour of your heart to the Father. Complete outpour. That is you speaking to Him. And He loves it because your heart is pure. For a contrite heart you cannot reject. Open, broken, this is me. You will see, you will sleep. You will have a sound sleep. You will wake up stronger. You can't explain it. Even if you don't have a dream that day, the answer has been given. There are times me, 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 your pastor, I come before God, I don't know what to say. I will just kneel down here and cry as much as I can. Oh, they have not seen me cry. Oh, you don't know we cry at the altar too. We will come before the altar of God. There is no words to come out. You can't utter words. It's so heavy. You kneel and you are crying. While you are crying, the Lord will say, tell me something. Don't just keep mute. Say something. And you say, Father, let my cry speak. He will say, say something. And as you are speaking, you are crying. You are speaking, you are crying. You are talking off point. Don't worry about it. Sometimes he will tell you just be praying in tongues. You can't even pray in tongues. You don't know. As one of you might have experienced something like this. You can't utter word. Nothing will come out. Then you say, Father, let my sacrifice speak. Let my sacrifice speak. That is when your consecration begins to talk. There are times I come before God. I have times. I have four major times I meet God every day. I come to that time. I don't know what to tell him. I say, I just spoke to you a few hours ago. Now I'm here again to talk again. Father, I don't know what to say. Then he will start speaking. And one of the ways the Lord speaks to you is that he gives you joy. It's not the joy you start laughing like a fool. But you have what they call inner peace. He's there already. That time he's just tapping you. He knows what you go through. Remember that Jesus came as a man and experienced everything men experience. So that thing you are calling pain, he has felt it. He knows. So when the father said, why is that boy not speaking? You said, father, that is the human nature. I was once like that. I know how painful it is. Remember when I was about to go to the cross of Calvary, I couldn't utter words. And the father would say, okay. But the funny thing is that the same thing Jesus felt, the father felt it. So the father knows 
we must build our life to the place of consecration. 